The Google Pixel 3 and 3 XL were launched earlier this month, touting new features such as improved cameras, better displays, a notch bigger than the entire Google Plus user base, and wireless charging. However, a major part of the Pixel experience is the software. The Pixel comes with its own launcher, beautiful Google apps, and some lovely wallpapers. Thanks to the nature of software, it's not difficult to try to emulate the Pixel 3's look on any Android phone. In this video, we'll show you how to do just that. First up is the launcher. While the look of the launcher may not have changed a whole lot from last year's revision of the Pixel 2, there's one key difference, the addition of the Google Assistant button in the search bar. This button made its appearance a few months ago on a handful of devices, but it never became the standard on the Pixel launcher until now. I found that the best launcher to get this look on non-Pixel devices is version 2 of the Launcher launcher. To install it, you'll have to download the APK from the Launcher Alpha Telegram channel. While it is an alpha, I found it to be pretty stable. Since it's an APK not from the Play Store, you'll need to enable unknown sources. Oreo and later will, in fact, prompt you to enable unknown sources if you try to install such an app. If you're on an earlier version of Android, you'll have to enable unknown sources from the security page in system settings. After installing Launcher, the system will prompt you regarding which home app you'd like to use when you hit the home button for the first time. Go ahead and select Launcher. To get the Google Pixel 3's screen layout, you'll need to make a few adjustments. First, after long pressing on the home screen to get into settings, go into Dock and set the style to transparent. Then, open Search and turn on colored icons. To get the Google Feed, you'll need to install Lawn Feed, which you can get from the link in the description. Since you'll be downloading this from Chrome or some other browser, you'll need to enable unknown sources for that browser specifically if you're on Oreo or later. But if you're on an older version of Android and you enabled unknown sources for installing Launcher itself, you should be fine. Feel free to disable unknown sources after installing these apps. Now that the launcher is in place, let's look at the apps that you might want to better emulate the Pixel experience. I'd recommend installing Google Chrome, Google Contacts, Gmail, Google Photos, and Messages, although you may have some of these apps installed already. Google's phone app is a nice addition, but you may or may not be able to install it, depending on your device's configuration. I've left links for the phone app for both the Play Store and APK Mirror's listings, so if you can't install it directly from the Play Store, APK Mirror might work. Additionally, you may want to give the Google HDR Plus port a spin, as it might just improve your phone's camera performance dramatically. Finally, the finishing touch, wallpapers. As is typical with any smartphone release, the exclusive wallpapers that the phone launches with don't stay exclusive for long. Unsurprisingly, the same happened with the new Pixels, and you can download their wallpapers for free from the link in the description. My personal favorite is that pinkish gradient one. And we're done. Congratulations, your phone screen now strongly resembles a Pixel 3. What's your favorite part of the Pixel 3 setup? Let us know down in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Jackson Hayes, and this is Android Police.